isolated, uh, introvert. Through friends, I, I found uh, acceptance. Right, so I, that's why I joined gangs. So while I was in gangs, uh, I was introduced to drugs. That's where I, I started to join, uh, took drugs to with them. So besides uh, being involved in fights and extortions and all these vices, so from rule sniffing, so I you know gradually elevated and pro, yeah, pro, uh, to to smoke to take even uh, hardcore drugs or something. I wanted to, you know, to, to, to put a, a stop. But the moment I meet my friend, right, the moment I'm back to society again, I, you know, I, I sort of forgotten <laughs> what I have said to myself. While in the lockup, actually, I, I, for the first time, I really knelt down and make to pray, you know. But instead of praying for life, actually, I pray for death, because wow, I have to go back to prison again, and you know, knowing that what's ahead of me, the long sentence and the severity of the punishment, and also uh, reflecting back on you know, the years of incarcerations, and I have to go through the cycle again. I was under withdrawal, so my I.O. sent me to uh, Changi Prison Complex uh, Hospital. When I went into the, the prison ward, I actually see uh, death in a different perspective because the ward is full of, all filled with uh, you know, terminal illness patients. You know? So when I see the surroundings, then I just got enlightened, you know, then I realized even though I'm going to face a long sentence, I still have a hope to walk out of prison while they don't. In prison, we are surround, I'm surrounded with walls and bars and barriers. So, art, doing art is also a form of distraction. While I do painting inside, I actually you know, sense peace. So it's just the painting and me communicating. That's, that is where I found freedom. Doing art, I start to see things differently. Because when we are pain, I have to plan, I have to see in different perspective, different dimension, what angle to paint, you know, uh, what colors, what tone, what shades to use. So that's where it opens up my scope of view. That I come to realize in life, it's not just about drug, prison, gangs, you know, that's because that's surround my life before. <laughs>